Both my parents were Russian, fled the revolution as teenagers with their own parents and eventually, 20 years later um, or 15 years later, met and married and uh, in Egypt and I was born in Cairo. Uh, at the age of 14, my father brought me to England to a um, ballet boarding school near Tabor Jewels called Legat. I found myself in 1956 in August, had some photographs taken for modeling and taken them around various agencies without any success. Um, to cheer myself up, I decided to go to Paris. And so I thought maybe I could find a job. And I happened to pass the corner boutique of uh, Dior in Avenue Montaigne. I only got that far when they called a lady, very sweet, called Madame de Turquem, I later found out, and she said, come with me, put on this dress, I, I did, um, come with me upstairs, and eventually found myself in a top floor studio, which was the design studio of Monsieur Dior, and there was Monsieur Dior sitting next to Madame Zenaker. And I said, what do I do now? And she said, well, walk towards this gentleman. I did. And he said, right, we'll walk back. And I did. And then he said, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's, it will do. And I did uh, uh, the two last collections that Monsieur Dior did. When he died, we still were contracted to go to Australia, which I thought was marvelous. And <laughs> I was made much of, and no question of choice. You, 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 and you will go to Australia. There was a background painted like scenery of the house in Avenue Montaigne. Even the porter, who of course came from Granville, he came with us to Australia. And I remember, of course, uh, actually going to the beach, but we had to be very careful because we were, you know, having a tiny bit of sun or color all was really a no-no. I was interviewed quite a bit and photographed, etc., because I was then still the only English-speaking person. And I had a very good time and loved it. 